Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony a7R 3 and Sony a7R 2 We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony a7R 3 and the Sony a7R 2 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 25th of October 2017 and the 10th of June 2015. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony a7R 3 For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony a7R 2 For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony a7R 3 and the Sony a7R 2 Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony a7R 3 And here are some sample photos from the Sony a7R 2 Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony a7R 3 Amazing camera, it has great build quality, excellent battery life, and a lot of flexibility with lenses. The video quality is also impressive, and I love the Bluetooth function for adding location data. The menu functions are a bit clunky, but the custom buttons help with that. Overall, I highly recommend this camera for anyone who loves photography and videography. Even though it's a bit pricey, it's definitely worth it. I found the product to be very useful and of excellent quality for both videos and photos. Here's what people have to say about the Sony a7R 2 the Sonya 7 re is the best camera I've ever owned. It has amazing image quality, a fantastic EVF, and the ability to use all of my vintage glass with image stabilization. The battery life could be better, and I wish it had dedicated controls for all major settings, but overall it's a great camera. I've had to adjust to some quirks, but I'm hopeful for its longevity. The Sony a7R 2 has incredible image quality and detail retrieval that surpasses even newer models. Despite being from 2015, the 42 megapixel sensor produces images indistinguishable from the latest Sony cameras. I highly recommend this camera for those who demand top notch image quality without compromise. It's still at the top of the camera food chain in terms of what matters most in digital image capture. The difference in image quality between newer models is trivial and not worth the upgrade. I also enjoy shooting with other cameras, but the detail retrieval on the a7R2 is on another level. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony a7R3, we will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10. Sony a7R2, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10.